told him what uh, I told him that I probably would enjoy a movie with uh, like a, a combination of the two a little bit more. Like if it was like some of my favorite Spider-Man comics when Doctor Strange and Spider-Man are teaming up. And right. I thought that that's, that's what was going to be No Way Home. but That would have been way better. Yeah. Like I if, knew that's not what it was going to be in No Way Home. But right. really, that would have been way better. Mm. That would have made No Way Home way, way better. But yeah, I think we're going to get that with this more grounded Spider-Man. I'm telling you, people were really mad about how Spider-Man is going. Mm. But I'm telling you, this Spider-Man... Everybody's like, man, Peter Parker always goes through bullshit. That's stupid. He's always <laughs> losing. He's always... I'm like, listen, he is always losing. But the fact that he's always losing hasn't actually come through in this Spider-Man. Right. This Spider-Man has always been winning. He's always had all the money at, at, his, at his fingertips because mm. Tony Stark, he's always had all this technology that Spider-Man almost never has right. in the comic books. <clears throat> And, you know, he's just, like, always been winning. He's always been winning. He ain't got the girl. He already got Mary Jane and shit. Like, you know, <laughs> right. he ain't had to work for or nothing. Fight Flash Thompson. Nobody. Right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> nothing. You know what I'm saying? So now he's got to go through some struggle. He goes to get the dark Peter. Yeah. Not necessarily that Peter Parker is a dark individual. But the things that he goes through are bit terribly, terrible, terrible things. And we've already gotten mm. the goblin out of the way. His most right, yeah. Uh, so we don't have to manufacture a goblin like they did for uh, yeah, Andrew amazing, Garfield's yeah. Spider Man. We've gotten it all out of the way. Now we can have this like <clears throat> Spider Man, this Peter Parker, I should say, that has to struggle. You know, mm. he has to find a way to make money. Uh, sorry, I didn't mean to go off on a Spider Man tangent. That was about that's, no, my, that's fault, but... my fault. That's my fault. I asked you. <laughs> about it but go ahead no, but uh hello you beautiful nerds welcome to the drug Panthers podcast where we talk about sci-fi fantasy horror and spider-man and all the popular art that we love also we do it drunk Woo! i'm joined as always by brother bill how you doing brother bill oh uncle baby bill of them came through to make sure you guys get your <laughs> shit together now hey i'll tell you one thing we gonna talk about a little movie we've seen before and it's called <laughs> Doctor Strange. Doctor Strange. That's, that's that's not to be confused. That's my nickname, you know. My stripper <laughs> name. That's my stripper name. When I get on stage, I like to call myself Doctor Strange. Cause, you Welcome know, to the stage. Cause they ain't cause they ain't never had this dick before. You know, hey, 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 hey. Do something strange for a piece of change. Strange. <laughs> and I like it. She's strange. Um, before we dive into this episode, uh, I do just want to say real quick, just because I wanted to talk about it in the last episode, uh, we, I just want to quickly acknowledge comic book artist George Perez uh, passed away at 67, right before oh, his 68th man. birthday. Jesus. Um, incredible comic book artist, wrote, drew, drew, uh, pencil for Deadly Hands of Kung Fu. Uh, he, he, like, if you've seen Thanos, you're thinking of his drawing from Infinity Gauntlet. He drew uh, for uh, Crisis on Infinite Earths, Teen Titans, Justice League, Avengers. He drew from all, and he drew them all spectacularly. And it's just a great talent Damn. that's lost from the world. He, and, and sorry, I also want to say he created Marvel's first Puerto Rican superhero, White Tiger, which I'm surprised we've never seen him. <laughs> we, will ne we, we don't see characters like that because they don't respect the actual races that they're showing. They don't actually respect women. They don't actually look. I'm just saying. This, I'm, just, I'm sorry. No, no, no. I'm sorry. I'll be the one to Let say it. Be it. But you don't already bummed us out with this dead stuff. So <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and make us a little bit more bummed out. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> they don't respect women. Yeah. Hello. That's, that's this is. Hello. <laughs> this is Hello? this. This is true. <laughs> this is true. Uh, I, I, I'm like I like after I found out about this, I was like, damn, how I not heard about White Tiger? Let's get a White Tiger Disney Plus Fuck TV series. Yeah, man. <laughs> Let's get the fucking White Tiger in a yeah. Black Panther movie and let's fucking rock it. Absolutely. And daughter of George Perez. Let's make it happen. What? Uh, but yeah, but so today, we already got out of another two. So yes, we're going to also <laughs> talk about today. Today. Sorry, now that we got into the main idea, yeah, uh, we're talking about... The reason you clicked on this shit, <laughs> baby. <laughs> we're talking about Professor Weird and the Ultraverse of Crazy. 
uh, by directed by Sam Ray. <laughs> I'm very tired. Was, I don't know why I decided to say that. That's what you did. <laughs> that was what you did. You write that. I did you not didn't write that, that down. That. I, that's, you didn't write that we, down. She could probably tell because it's bad. Yo, why would you uh, do that? That is, you just should never say things like that. <laughs> Uh, so what directed happened? by Sam Raimi. Sam Raimi, my nigga, coming back to the coming back from Marvel the superhero of game. The fucking hell called comic book movies. <laughs> Spider Man Three. Um, <laughs> I've already talked about this movie a lot on my video, uh, so I'm just gonna open up the floor for you to make your initial thoughts and talk about how you like the movie. What did you think of it? That's right. If you want to know how Alex feels about the movie? Go fucking click on the review and listen. Take a listen. Yeah, watch it because twice. Because he's wrong. <laughs> <laughs> now let you figure it out for yourself. <laughs> <laughs> if you a, know what Alex is wrong about, leave it in the comments. Yeah, leave it in the comments. You know what I'm saying? I ain't telling you shit. No, but no, seriously. Um, I thought it was an amazing movie. This is probably one of my favorite Marvel movies so far. Hmm. It was more fun than a lot of other movies. And I think it was more so that, like, even though I did a lot of research and saw a lot of stuff on it, you know, spoilers and whatnot, mm -hmm. a lot of those motherfuckers were wrong. <laughs> you know what yeah. I mean? But a lot of spoilers weren't really spoilers because it was just, they showed us a whole trailer. You can kind of discern from a lot of the things. Yeah, they, they showed a lot in the trailers. But they didn't really show a lot in the trailers. Like, they showed a lot in the trailers, but you didn't know what the movie was That's about. That's true. You know what I'm saying? Like, you couldn't tell. They had some fake outs. About. Right. Some fake outs. Also, just showing you stuff without showing you stuff. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, it was good. You know, um, like, you get people hype about little things like, oh, Patrick Stewart's going to be in this movie. Right. And then he's only in it for a few minutes. Or, you know, that's good. I like that kind of shit. Right. I don't want that to be the, the trucks of the whole fucking movie. And now I'm. The whole movie's ruined. For right. Me, right. Yeah. So they do always do a good job with their trailers. They don't really give away too much, even mm -hmm. though a lot of these goons on YouTube like to claim that they predict shit. <laughs> they, you're just watching a trailer and they're showing you. You're not predicting anything if they show you what you're seeing. <laughs> right. Um, so, yeah, but um, I thought it was great. I loved how they didn't force a Latina woman on, our, on us. Mm. I didn't like how they really just threw in like that her family was lesbian. I, not that, 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 that I didn't like it. I just thought it was done. It was done in the right way. I shouldn't say I didn't like. It. I was saying right. it was done in the right way. I don't like how they usually do that in like. Right. Yeah. It felt very in natural. Television in and movies. The, it was just like they just showed them. Okay. Boom. We don't have to be like. And then my mom's were like treated bad because they were gay right yeah <laughs> like oh god right. like why did that happen what does that have to do with the fucking multiverse the entire universe <laughs> yes we're worried about them being gay because but you know what i'm saying they did it the right way right it was just, i liked how they did it it wasn't about like oh the whole universe and my family's gay and mm. so psh, that's why i'm sad you know like no right. bitch, wait a minute what, why, what does that matter it's, uh, yeah, like, so yeah, they just, did it right way. It's just just to like piggyback off of that. I, I was re rewatching the boys recently, and yeah, like there's a whole storyline with Queen Maeve and like how Vaught is trying to push her as like it's like oh you're like the you're the the shining beacon light of all gays now and now like and then they have the cringy scene in the movie that they're making where she, she's like I'm like you. I'm gay. Like, it, right. like it, it, it's like, obviously, they no, did nothing that in is... that movie. I mean, they did that in the boys because it's what's being done in movies and television. Exactly. Yeah. Like, it's, it's, so ridiculous. it's, it's not like, it's... Uh, it's very rarely like that heavy handed, but and like, the... it's, it's, you get, it's the, you get the same feeling. Like, right. you, you, you get that. And same the reason vibe. I feel like it's overdone is because we'll go listen to the other videos that I did, motherfucker. Because <laughs> 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 I'm not explaining it again. But, um, but it is overdone in Hollywood, and they did it a good job of it and didn't undermine what it is to be a lesbian in a relationship or some in some kind of way for some stupid reason that they like to do that shit. So, and right. I like the fact that Wanda was the villain, but she was the anti-villain. She never really did anything. Yeah, did you feel like this, because a lot of people, I've been hearing a lot of people online saying that this ruined her character from WandaVision. How do you feel about all that. Good. It should. It was supposed to. Look, I think <laughs> that um, people are stupid 
<laughs> you know, like I really do. You know, and what I, I'll elaborate. People get hung up on characters, like they're supposed to stay the same mm. the whole time. Nigga, you don't stay the same. Why should a fucking television <laughs> character? Right. You change. The character can't change. An actor is supposed to go to work every day and be the same motherfucker every time. Yeah. For like, twelve years. <laughs> yeah. You don't want. You don't want Elizabeth Olsen to act. <laughs> yeah. You don't want her to do her job. She only. She's like restricted from doing a lot of stuff. That she would like to do because she has to be available to do this. Yeah. So that your motherfucking ass can watch <laughs> some shit. I think and you should allow this character to grow as much as it can. And I don't believe that Wanda died, but we'll get to that as well. Yeah, yeah, we'll get to that toward the end. Uh, but yeah, like I, I feel the same way. In fact, I think that this like is an improvement on the end of WandaVision because I've kind of felt like she got off easy at the end of WandaVision because she tortured this whole town, and then they were like. It's okay. <laughs> he was just mad. Uh, it's all fine. We're going to take this other dude to jail, though. But who was... she lost her kids, and that's what she's mad about. And she lost Vision. Right, yeah, and, like, yeah, obviously she still has that, that But there's grief. a Vision out there somewhere. Why didn't he just be like, yeah, that's can I because... help you find this nigga? I, I... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I do have a theory that Vision, like, White Vision has <coughs> gone off. I mean, well, he's clearly gone off the grid because nobody knows where the fuck he is. But maybe he's, like, kind of afraid of Wanda or maybe afraid of what she could do. I don't know. Nah. I mean, why wouldn't he try to reach out to Wanda after all this time? He's still learning. Remember, he he was white vision, don't know nothing. Yeah, that's true. Remember? He got to know. He's still learning. Oh, but he still has. They they mentioned that he has all the memories and everything of. But he don't know his vision. You know what I'm saying? He got to go out there and learn. He has to go out there. Yeah. And learn. Right. Yeah, so he's just out there living and learning. Yeah, like being a person. Vision never got to do any of those things. He was just stuck under water all the time. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh yeah, like uh I I really I really enjoyed this this story too and everything with with Wanda. Apparently, uh <laughs> I'll, I'll go ahead and just bring this up now. Uh apparently at the beginning of the movie there was supposed to be this scene where Mordo was chasing Scarlet Witch through like the woods or some such shit. I think that they actually filmed this and everything. Yeah, uh, he was supposed to have attacked. Uh, he was supposed to try to kill her, mm. and then she kills him. Like, mm-hmm. and that's when you find out that like she's the villain of this movie or whatever. Mm-hmm. I'm very glad that they didn't do that because what the fuck? <laughs> Why would they kill Barry Mordo in the second movie before he gets a chance to be a villain? That would be so stupid. Because he's. <laughs> Black, <laughs> right? I bet Ch- Chidwell Elysia Four was just like, "Hey, uh, we're not doing this." <laughs> no, nah, he ain't got that kind of pull. But what? Oh, ended maybe. Up, no, what ended up happening is it didn't test well. It was bad. They were like, it doesn't. Mm-hmm. It was a way better reveal for it to be later in the movie, or like, even though it wasn't late in the movie, it was earlier in the movie, right? But it was better for Doctor Strange to find out mm-hmm. with the audience. Than for the audience to be audience ahead of to him. find it and be ahead of him, right? It just plays better. Yeah, I I, I feel that was the and better then choice to see Baron Mordo again. Right? Yeah, that was yeah. The, everything paced out nicely the way like the reveal of Wanda, the reveal of Baron being a good guy but then a bad guy was uh was way more interesting. Way more uh, interesting. What did you think of uh, uh so? so I knew I was gonna. Mess, I knew I was gonna fuck this. So Social Gomez, uh, the actress that played uh, America, uh, America Chavez. She did great. She did great. Yeah, I did like how they introduced her. Kind of like you know, she's a kid. She didn't do much. She jumped around. She did good. She acted well with the green screen, um, which is really hard. Like people act like that's easy. Yeah, that's, that's really <laughs> fucking hard. And she did a really good job. Um... She's going to be a star one day, you know? And yeah, that's she... not to play on words for her superpower. <laughs> uh, um, I was just, I, I'm just good at this job. I'm just puns, good at talking. Uh, pun unintended, but appreciate. I'm just good at talking into a microphone. Because <laughs> it just fucking turns on like this. I swear to God, I don't even talk to people. <laughs> I don't even like talking to people, mostly. <laughs> uh, uh yeah, like during the like we talked about this a little bit uh, off pod, but we did. America Chavez was supposed to be in No Way Home. Mm-hmm. Uh, during No Way Home's development, Chavez was supposed to play like the sorcerer's uh, sorcerer's apprentice role required to assist 
Parker and company coming through like their connected multiverses. And well, that's uh, because this movie would have been first. Right. Yeah, this was originally supposed to come out first, <laughs> which goddamn that sh- look at money work cuz that's the, like I can't imagine like reworking a big ass movie like this uh, in such a short period of time uh in a middle, middle of a pandemic. Uh cuz like, they and they didn't have <laughs> Toby Maguire officially on board. Right. Yet yeah, like so Oh man, so many Oof. But I don't think they filmed that shit. You know, uh, oh, what the oh, the the, the ch- right? Yeah, those were probably just still just written. written. Yeah, and they never got around to filming it. But it was originally supposed to go down that way. I wouldn't have been mad at that. No, nah, yeah, it would have been. It would have been fine. I, I I think that like we you mentioned off pod, we we got the better result the way everything timed out. Um, but yeah, uh, I wouldn't have been mad at that with that little switch, and it does make more sense why Ned just inexplicably is magic in that episode since he apparently he wasn't supposed to be do opening the portals is supposed to be America. Uh, well, but also it gives, I think it gives him something to do in the future. That's true. You know what I'm saying? Like you can make Ned just like Ned doesn't have to just be Ned. Right. You know what I'm saying? Cause he was kind of the guy in the chair in the first movie. And he kind of just like, even though he references being the guy in the chair in the second, but and third Ned's episode, actual he's... character in the comic book, and mm. he does become the Green Goblin at one point. So right. we are talking about the wrong movie. <laughs> um, Doctor uh, but Strange. Yeah, but yeah, I was just talking about yeah, I was just talking about that in in relation. But to yeah, this. Doc, Doctor uh, Strange. What did you think about the cameos that we got? I know you talked about it a little bit on the uh, right review, but did you think that they made sense? Uh, I personally think that they did. Um, I mean, like, what what is sense in the multiverse? But I right. did, I I did really like um, every, all the cameos, and I I did also uh, like I, you know love Haley Atwell, love seeing her in like actual live action. Captain Carter costume, uh, Anson, uh, Anson Mount uh, from Inhumans, that was a very big <laughs> shock. <laughs> uh, it's funny because like I, when I went to go see it in the theaters, I was the only person who like actually gasped at that point. I think everybody else was like, "Who the fuck is this?" <laughs> I was like, "Damn, I should have watched the Inhumans." <laughs> Damn, I didn't watch it. Nah, you made the right decision. But he didn't look like that in the uh, in humans either. He didn't look like nah, that. Nah, yeah. So, fuck him. His costume looked fuck him. Dumb as he. Looked, That's what happens. He looked, people listen, 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 listen. If you're out here writing, if you're out here aspiring writer and or director, mm. don't dumb down your audience. Like, don't try to pretend that your audience is dumb. Your audience is always more intelligent than you think it is. Yeah, like, have faith in them. Don't have try to faith in them. them. Don't fucking make a co- like. Don't say, hey, we. They don't want to see a costume like that. <laughs> they don't want to see a comic book. No, that's exactly what the fuck they want to see. Right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? People but I were did seriously upset when the first Daredevil movie came out and they were and, and um and uh Colin Farrell wasn't in a costume. Right. And he, <laughs> yeah, he had like a weird tattoo why a target you, brand on his Yeah, court. why would you do a brand and not the damn just put the fucking target head yeah. on him? Like put that <laughs> thing on him, the Leotard. That looks more yeah, that Ridiculous. weirdly looks cooler than what he had on. Yeah, uh, come on. So, yeah, I think that they did a good job with everything, and, costumes. Mm. And even with, like, because we're nerds and we know who Black Bolt is and everything. But even if you walk into that movie and you don't know who he is, you, you understand what his powers are. They show his powers being, like, right. uh, like uh, and they, you see exactly how power, powerful he is compared to the other ones. Uh, like it made like even if you don't yeah you're I didn't see it I, that, it still was great I was yeah. like yeah he was cool I was like man they should have had that motherfucker in some other movies <laughs> yeah it'd be great where if he we been actually at? get him like where he been back. at <laughs> he's yeah. been in a galaxy clearly, well, galaxy far far away that's Star Wars clearly he could have <laughs> fucking helped out with Thanos if his bitch ass was right? around like, oh, stupid <laughs> ass nigga which no, is so another look, let me hold on, hold on. sorry go ahead let, let me ask you a question let me ask you a question the uh, other Doctor Stranges, right? Mm. What did you think about those guys? Do you do you think Doctor Strange, mm. our Doctor Strange, is the only good Doctor Strange? Are they all just 
No, uh, uh, Bound so, and doomed to be fucking cunts. Right. I think that this was a very interesting uh, story in that aspect because, like, I don't think that our Strange becomes the quote unquote most moralistic or best Doctor Strange unless he meets all those other Doctor Stranges. Like, until he so realizes the faults he's in still his own character. Because, like, hey, the whole point behind the. Uh, no way home spider-man mm. no way home is that he just was doing reckless shit right <laughs> right Listen and i like the fucking they... teenagers nigga. what are you doing <laughs> right <laughs> and i like that they doubled down on this like yeah it's like you dude is wild and reckless as hell yeah um and i think that he would have continued being wild just as reckless, reckless as hell. <laughs> uh, i wild think he would have continued reckless. to be as reckless if he doesn't have that moment with you know, Christine, where she's like, you always have to be holding the knife, and that's why you fucked up every other universe yeah. in our relationship and other, every Clearly, other because you never put your knife down. Why would you walk through the bathroom to the bathroom with <laughs> Why would you go into a lunch meeting with the knife? You're not making love to me with a scalpel in your hand. You that's not sexy. You six times while we was trying to fuck. <laughs> you fucked up the shower curtain. <laughs> you every always time, have to be holding the knife. Every time I come, there's scratches all on the wall. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Yeah, I, I, uh, I, I really liked his arc. Though it was subtle, uh, like it didn't have to be like hammered home the whole time. So, who is your really favorite Doctor Strange? I mean, I guess defa- by default, it's ours. I um, like ponytail, especially Doctor Strange. He, our Doctor Strange definitely had like the best hair, facial <laughs> hair situation. Because <laughs> the beard on like Evil Doctor Strange was fucking weird. <laughs> <laughs> like yeah, he shaved the sides, weird. but he still had like the long part weird. going. Like he was fucking the dude from Pantera. <laughs> he, was weird. he was strange. Well, he was strange. He was so strange. Uh, what did you think of that? Speaking of evil, Doctor Strange. What do you think of that music fight where they? Dope. Yeah, Danny Elfman finally stepped up his game. <laughs> fucking been f- people like people like you, but I fucking don't fuck with you. Yeah. <laughs> you don't fuck with Danny Elfman. He's just a fucking lucky ass son of a bitch, but to, he put his he put some work in. Yeah, he he, he on he, that one. I will give him, I will I will give him that. Yeah, he's just lucky son of a bitch. <laughs> as far as his, I'm talking about. Look, I know the Danny Elfman story. Don't get me started. Look, I, don't get me started. We do a whole I, podcast. On I don't Danny know. <laughs> I don't know anything about. Okay, about so the guy let, let, let just let he's... me just like I said, he's just a lucky <laughs> motherfucker, but. This one, he actually did some scoring and some, yeah. uh, what do you call it, sound design. Mm. Yeah, it was, it was really good. And it reminded me a lot of, like, in the first Doctor Strange, I remember, like, the director talking about how he was going to, like, the music was going to be very trippy and it's going to have, like, very 70s vibe. Uh, but then when this movie came out, the music was just, like, very whatever, like every other Marvel movie. But then the end credits, it was, like, the score for the movie, but with electric guitar. I was like, why wasn't it like this in the whole movie? And then when this like when this movie comes out, I feel like we got that electric guitar psychedelic <coughs> vibe. Maybe it's because Sam Raimi was like, "Hey, my boy Danny, he's gonna handle it this time," or maybe yeah, like, I mean, it's just Danny Elfman. That's just Danny Elfman. Yeah, he's I, a he's a fucking rock musician. He's yeah, a fucking rock band. That's you could tell that. I don't uh, talk about Danny Elfman no more. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can, gave this nigga too much credit. <laughs> well, you could just you could definitely that scene, tell though. that. I love uh, that scene. You know, he, he you know he did all the Spider Man movies with Sam Raimi. Obviously, you could tell like him and uh, Danny's collaboration came to like a head in that scene. Like, uh, no, what I is what I said. What I said is what happened. Is that he finally stepped his game up and right. became a fucking. Uh, uh, Composer? Composer. <laughs> oh, you didn't, you didn't like the score for Spider-Man? Okay. Man, look. <laughs> Batman? Man. No, nothing? <laughs> look, man. Look. I mean, I do like the animated series theme a little bit more. but The animated series. First of all, that's what they should have used. <laughs> I mean, well, no, it, wasn't, it didn't exist. <laughs> it didn't exist yet. <laughs> and I know that the 90s theme was inspired by the 80s theme, but, but whatever. We're, but, uh, Fuck all y'all nerds. <laughs> uh, you nerds! <laughs> 
What did you think about the dire- direction specifically? Now we're talking about Sam Raimi. Now that he's back in the game. Did you enjoy the way it, it, it was, was shot? Great. He should do the next one because who the fuck knows what the fuck is supposed to go down <laughs> in the right? second one, man. Charlie's Theron show up with her fine ass. Hot damn. That was crazy. Hey, Goddamn. Bitch, where are you going? At? Where are you going? Why are you going? You just got here. <laughs> I, I, I'm so mad. Just to, you know, let's go ahead and talk about the end credits right now. Uh, like, I, I like the. That she's in the uh, in the MCU, it was a little weird of a scene. It just seemed like it was kind of out of nowhere, and it seemed like they knew each other without any previous context. So maybe that'll be like a mid scene in the next movie. Spoiler or something. alert! Uh, but uh, spoiler alert! Spoiler alert! They get married the, in the comic book. So oh yeah yeah. So yeah, this might be <laughs> even like after they've gotten married or something like that, or after they've developed a relationship because they seem like they know each other already. Nah, they didn't seem like they knew each other. It just seemed like. But he didn't even like say who are you? <laughs> yeah, because he's the fucking former sorcerer supreme. He's motherfucking Doctor Strange. Motherfucker walk up on him talking about some magic shit. He's like, "What's up? <laughs> Talk that shit. What's good? <laughs> I'm about it, about it. I'm about it, about it. You know what I'm talking about? Um, I mean, maybe, but I that's a law. That's how. He, that's how. He, I, I he, when 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 he sees crazy interdimensional shit, he's just like. Yeah, that's crazy. When he saw Thor and uh, Loki showing up, he just went up to them like, yeah, okay, that's nice, whatever. I don't care what y'all here for, what y'all need, but, I'm, but about he get, did, I'm about to banish y'all. But right. he didn't know who they were. So maybe he does know who she is, just like from, yeah, because he's the Sorcerer Supreme, or used to be the Sorcerer Supreme, he just has that knowledge. Well, she's bar- she's fucking Dormammu's sister. I don't think he knows who Dormammu's sister is. Maybe not. Because he didn't know who Dormammu was when, until he met Dormammu. Yeah, but I mean, look, there, that's one thing that's, kind of ambiguous about the time between the first Doctor Strange movie and now because you could tell he's done a lot of growing like during the Infinity War time and Thor Ragnarok but we don't know exactly how much he's learned how much better That's he's got too. but speaking of which and his magic the was off the chain the magic scenes were off the chain in this movie compared to yep. the first one and he read the dark hole too so we oh, don't yeah. know what he, what he was capable of doing yeah that's true yeah like uh, do you think that he's been corrupted by the dark hole no I think that he's gotten Many different Doctor Stranges into him. Ooh. After day walking or night walk, whatever the fuck they right. call it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I shadow what they call sleeping. It. Day or sleeping. Yeah. Shadow, <laughs> shadow sleeping. Shadow Weed walking. Weed napping. I don't Weed know. Napping. <laughs> uh, pussy popping. I don't know what they were calling it. I don't know what they were calling it. It was one of those, though. It was one of those. It was definitely one of, one of those. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so. Only compl- just to talk about Cleo one more time. Uh, only complaint I have about Charlize Theron is that I would have liked if she was sub. Well, I mean, Cleo is an iconic character, but I, I would have I- I- fan casting with my brain. I would have preferred to play somebody like Emma Frost or like someone who we were definitely going to see for like ten more movies. I doubt we're going to get more than two out of this character. To mm. be honest, I don't know if that's true, bro. He gets married to her. That's true, but like, and I then just- that makes him happy, strange. <laughs> it's happy Doctor Strange, right? And then he, if I'm not mistaken, that's when he decides in the comic book to help start the Illuminati. Because mm. then something crazy, what happens in the comic book, Illuminati, they have they have to form because Hulk is too crazy, right? And then they have to just ship Hulk off into space, right? So you think there's gonna be like another like rough decision that they have to make to create the Illuminati in this world? Mm-hmm. Secret Wars. I think that they well, secret well, wars what, will happen. And then they'll have to create the Illuminati. Right. Because you know what's going to happen at Secret Wars. What was that? Motherfucking Robert Downey Jr. is coming back. <laughs> oh, yeah, possibly. I, I I, mean, like I've said this before, but I hope that he stays I, I dead know. just from like I know. finality standpoint. I know. I know. But I'm glad that you brought up Secret Wars because there's something that I was thinking about uh, when... Because I, I actually forgot to even mention anything about it. We were just asking about cameos. But John Krasinski is Mr. Fantastic. Uh, well, first of all, what did you think of John Krasinski as Mr. Fantastic? I thought it was about time, or I thought, well, finally, I mean, like, yeah, all the good yeah. things. Yeah, I was I like, like, yay, <laughs> uh, duh, <laughs> you know, uh, like, a lot of that, mm, all of that at the right. same time, like, <laughs> seriously, it was like, okay, finally, and I also thought, he only tried to stretch and move one time, and it was mad slow. Right. <laughs> yeah. Like they should have not even did that. She should have just stretched him out real quick without him trying to mm. attack her. Because 
it was slow. It was like, what were you going to do? <laughs> what kind of punch was that? Yeah. Mr. Yeah. Fantastic. <laughs> Wasn't nothing fantastic about that. Ain't nothing. Yeah. She I, can do whatever <laughs> her mind tell her to do. <laughs> Nigga, what are you doing? Right. Yeah, I do like how in the comics, they focus more on Reed's intelligence than his ability to stretch around. Right. Because <laughs> that's what Richard would have did was been in there trying to figure out. He's like... Don't worry about the witch. We got something for that bitch. Right. <laughs> which, which is, we got this atomizer, deatomizer of molecular notrons. Right. And, yeah, you would have pulled out the de-evolutioner on this bitch. Like, yeah, like, turned, her into yeah. a guy, turned her into a goddamn monkey, monkey or some shit. Yeah, or the ultimate neutralizer. Make this bitch tiny. That way her magic is very, very le- less lethal. Yeah. <laughs> she can really only, like, change your toenails colors. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, uh, like, yeah, they should have done some <laughs> shit like that. Because what are you doing, man? Come on, bro. Yeah, That's I, not cool. You just tried to punch her with your long arm from way <laughs> far away. <laughs> what was that? You didn't even try to wrap your arms around her or nothing. Yeah, that was, yeah his, his power is, like, pretty silly. So I, 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 I appreciated them not trying to do too much with him. And they hopefully we'll get more. strung him out, this. man. Yeah. They strung him out, bro. <laughs> he was strung out. All these little limbs coming out in little noodles, <laughs> like little noodles. Do you, do you think that he's gonna be? Yeah, of course. Come on, man. Okay. And I hope that they don't make Emily Blunt this wife because that's just. It doesn't seem like she's gonna be. I mean, because it doesn't. Seem I know like everybody she... wants all the fanfare. The fanfare. <laughs> well, you don't like Emily Blunt? No, but no, it's not that I don't like Emily Blunt. It's just like that doesn't actually. I don't think it's that she actually is a good Sue Richards. Mm. That's my thing. Yeah, I haven't. Uh... Sue Richards is like soft and dainty and you know mm. like she's more and and but like powerful too mm. you know what i'm saying like somebody got to be able to convey all of that at the same time you know, right i don't know you know who could be sue richards the girl who plays um star girl or whatever in uh mm. in the boys oh um oh yeah um a little bright yeah i remember girl. yes uh Blonde. starlight I Star forget what her name is. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, she would she would be really good. She's like twenty years younger than John Krasinski, though, so I don't think that's gonna happen. But uh, nobody cares about all that. <laughs> I feel like people care about it more now than they did like before. But nobody cares about all that, and she's not like twenty years younger. Than him. She's well, she's in her twenties. Like, he's in his forties. She is not in her twenties. I'm pretty positive she's in. her Well, 30s. yeah, that's right. She was in her twenties when she was on a. It's called Jessica. Jones. Positive she's in her thirties, so it would be fine, and it would be great because she would be a great, 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 great great invisible woman yeah she would be a, she would be a good invisible woman uh it's it's now that like it, it, with everybody who's on the boys i would feel like kind of weird if i saw anybody from the boys and like a weird and a, you and, see like, all these scene. marvel guys playing dc guys and dc guys playing marvel guys and marvel oh, guys playing yeah I disney know. guys I, and disney guys playing yeah I, yeah on, I, man. I know but it's just specifically because boys is like a commentary on superheroes it's stuff. a comic book i mean i it's I not a that. commentary. It's a comic book. It's a comic book. I know book that. I'm just talking about how weird it would be for me, like look, person. Man, like, but I'm not saying I'm not gonna go see, watch look, it. I'm, I'm just gonna, saying that. I'm shock. Let me just blow your mind right now. When they do the Invincible movie, mm. they're gonna be some motherfuckers from some comic book movies in there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I, again, I'm not worried about the like people going from one comic book movie to the other. It's just yeah, like whatever. Any, anyway, uh, Ben Affleck is Batman. I d- <laughs> he was also daredevils. That's true. I'm just- uh, <laughs> uh, but yeah, I do like what they're doing. Like, I make this whole thing does make me interested in what they're going to do with Fantastic Four in the future, um, especially with like uh, Reed Richards, because I didn't really realize this until I recently started reading the John Hickman run of uh, Fantastic Four. But a lot of Rick and Morty is derived from uh, Fantastic Four, like the Council of Ricks. Uh, Reed Richards develops the Council of Reeds mm-hmm. in the, pretty much in the exact same kind of place. Yeah. And I feel like that place that we saw that the Book of Vashanti was, that place outside of space and time, could also be like uh, the place where Reed develops this, uh, the Council of Reeds. But uh, I, might, I, might be, I might be pushing. I might be connecting too many dots there. Mm-hmm. But regardless, I'm excited to see the new Fantastic Four movie if John Krasinski's in the role, or if he, even if he's not. We got to get a whole podcast and talk about Doctor Strange mm. and then we need another podcast where we talk about Fantastic Four mm. all comic book related and we get 
DJ Ready C on the podcast. Yeah, that'd be great. Have him back on. And Vic Vega. Yeah, that'd be great. Like, uh, have, yeah. have the whole fucking uh, fucking whole comic book. goddamn comic book <laughs> trap, trap house crew. get their ass on the podcast. <laughs> yeah, if you guys want to, see, them if you guys want to see the podcast. comic book trap house uh, back uh, hanging out with the drunk Banthas, leave it in the comments. No, we're gonna get the whole team. We're gonna get the whole team, and it will be on video, and we'll get it streamed, and we'll just do it from our shit. Right. <clears throat> uh, yeah. Um, we're gonna happened? talk about comics. <laughs> Talk about comics, you know, comic book Because you know we got we got a long time for some more movies going to come out. Uh yeah yeah we got yeah so, got a little while for movies but like there's, there's so, so we much gotta stuff. I'm just saying mm-hmm. we, you know for the people yeah keep y'all fed <laughs> and yeah, there 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 there'll always be gaps in between entertainment stuff. Um, but before we wrap this up, I do uh, want to talk about the uh, the the ending of the movie a little bit. Uh, what did you think? Like you had mentioned before, that uh, you don't think that Scarlet Witch is dead. Uh, yeah. Well, at the very end, she topples the Darkhold in stone form mm-hmm. on top of herself, and we see it come crumbling down, and we see the back shot, mm-hmm. the, the wide shot of it cr- crashing down, and then at the very end, another crash down um, of the building toppling mm-hmm. from the bottom from the top to the bottom and we see a burst of red light like right mm. and i was like oh she got up out of there <laughs> because she can literally do whatever she wants with her mind right. why would she just kill herself come on yeah uh now, rule of comic books go away and disappear for yeah. a while like hey and i'm pretty sure somebody said that she's like signed for like seven more movies or something like that so like, <laughs> yeah i mean she's gonna be back yeah she'll be back <laughs> she's gonna be back if she's gonna be back and she's going to be, I think she's not going to be back until we get involved with the mutants. That would be cool if they save her for she'll try to like find that. her real father. Mm. Who is Michael Fassbender? <laughs> yeah, now apparently this is a rumor, but uh, apparently there was a scene filmed with Michael Fassbender uh, that was supposed to be in this movie, but they decided to take it out for, I don't know, story reasons. Oh, I believe they took it out because they don't want, Allegedly, nobody has been recast for a uh, X Men role. Right. Allegedly, mm-hmm. which we all know, Michael Fassbender has definitely been. How you say his name? Uh, I think I don't know if it's Fassbender Foss- or Fassbender. It's, it's Michael Fassbender. <laughs> Michael Fassbender. Yeah. Michael Fassbender. <laughs> Michael Fassbender. This is the most German Irish dude. Michael Fassbender. <laughs> Uh yeah, we that motherfucker right there is gonna be motherfucking Magneto. Get the oh, he's so fuck out of here, dog. Best casting choice they ever made for any of those prequels. Oh, one thing they wish they could do is go get uh, what's his name for Logan. Oh right, yeah. That, it, that would they would fucking cream themselves. Yeah, get both of them. <laughs> yeah, they already got Patrick Stewart, and they know they yeah. know. Okay, they don't have to go back with Patrick Stewart as Professor X. Right, but. We didn't even talk about Patrick Stewart, Professor X. What did you? We did. We did kind of, but, but yeah. I mean, he was just him. Yeah. You know, I there. thought it was a great scene where he tried to like save the, the original Wanda. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, that version of Wanda, I should say. Yeah, it was a really cool, scary and, uh, scene. It was kind of spooky. Cracked his goddamn neck. <laughs> yeah. I was like, why you let her do that? I mean, you know the bitch was coming. <laughs> And you they heard the bitch was coming. <laughs> now, why didn't you just stop the bitch with your brain? <laughs> yeah, right. He just kind of sat there and was like, Look, oh, man, it's coming. <laughs> y'all supposed to be the ones that make the hard decisions. Bro, break that bitch's spine. <laughs> Fuck that. You kill know this bitch. Kill the bitch in the bitch and kill the bitch. <laughs> this right here. Kill the bitch in your universe. Kill the bitch in the universe. <laughs> we got to get the fuck out of here. We got to save the world. Right? Like, you supposed to be making hard decisions. Yeah, bro. man. This is the Illuminati. <laughs> this is the Illuminati. This the uh, Illuminati. <laughs> I wants to see some death. You should have killed that bitch. Bow. Move it, it over been, in fifteen <laughs> minutes. God damn. It would have been great if he did the uh, the quadruple take at that moment when she was coming back. Her bombs are the are, best. Her bombs <laughs> are the best. <laughs> oh man, the, man, the quadruple take doesn't work in the audio medium. <laughs> but, I'll just Google it. Google it. But yeah, oh yeah, you guys all know what we're talking about. Yeah, nerds. But. <laughs> but yeah, I, def- I, I definitely think she'll be back too, um, and uh, yeah, I'm excited to see what what Clea does in the future, uh, and I'm excited to see what, what kind of director we're gonna get for. The- I don't think John Krasinski's gonna end up directing the Fantastic Four movie either. I think it's just like wishful thinking. 
Uh, but yeah, like I, I'm excited about all. Oh the yeah, he's no, he's not up. gonna be directing no Fantastic Four. Yeah, he's too old. They're gonna, you know, I'm just saying. You look at the directors that they pick; they're usually pretty young. Yeah, like I mean, new upcoming directors. Yeah, which is why Sam Raimi, Sam Raimi was such a surprise. It was a surprise, but also kind of predictable because he's been saying he wants to get back into the game. Hey, yeah, you, blah, 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 apparently blah. one of the reasons he did this is just because he can see if he could do it. Because, yep. you know, he, he had been, been asked so. to do it plenty of times. Been turning it down for years. Feel bad for what he did to Spider-Man. <laughs> I guess he was like a little bit of a part of what they did with No Way Home, and then they, and then they, yeah. He, he's like, hey, you know what? People forgive me, baby. People like my Spider Man. They like my Spider Man. <laughs> they like my Spider Man. Fuck y'all. <laughs> I'm with it. Yeah, he definitely did his thing on this. De- felt very Sam Raimi. A lot of Evil Dead moments. God, Zombie Strange was awesome. And we forgot to talk about Bruce Campbell beating himself up. Talk oh, yeah. Evil Dead moments. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. Pizza Papa. Fucking Bruce Campbell. <laughs> evil Dead moments. He's beating the shit out of himself. Yeah. Uh, that was, like, yeah, I, 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 yeah, that was a cool little moment. I'm glad I didn't stay till the end credit scene because that probably would have irritated me if I waited till the end just to see Bruce Campbell punch himself some more. Well, he punches himself one more time and then he stopped. Uh, Oh, yeah. He said, "Go, go home or yeah. something. Like that. It's over. <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah, it's, yeah. It's finally over. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I love Bruce Campbell. God, shout out to Briscoe County Junior. Um, but we should do a whole goddamn podcast <laughs> oh on Briscoe God. County Junior. We would lose subscribers so fast. Like people would be like, "Oh, you what the fuck so? is this?" No, nah, I don't think so. I don't think people care that much. Or like, are that like, fuck this guy? We, we lost Bruce some subscribers Bruce. for some reason. I don't know why, <laughs> but like, some people sub- unsubscribe. Maybe, was, maybe because we started putting black stuff on there. I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Who's to, who's to say? Who is to say? I am to say. Because I am the one with the microphone. God damn it! <laughs> if you unsubscribed and, and inexplicably are still listening to this podcast, let us know why you unsubscribed in the comments. Yeah, please. I mean, I, I, we appreciate. I'm curious. We appreciate all things listening and subscribing. Yeah. So please subscribe and please like. And please share. And if you guys really, hey, Banthas, let's unite, baby. Let's unite and let's get drunk Banthas to 12,000 subscribers. No, I'm joking. <laughs> Tomorrow. No, Tomorrow. <laughs> let's, get, no, let's unite and get us to 1,000 subscribers, man. Right yeah. now, if you're listening to this, you're a real one. And that means you've made it this far and we appreciate you. <laughs> let's get it yeah. up to 1,000 subscribers. And the first 1,000 subscribers, we're going to give out. A big prize. A big prize. We got to get to a thousand scr- subscribers, y'all. As soon as we do, we're giving out a fucking award to some loyal, commenting fan and nerd. <laughs> Oh, speaking of uh, speaking of which, Thomas Beal, your T-shirt is in the mail. Sorry, it took so long to get that out, but Thomas, you're very poor over here. And, and takes, also, Thomas, listen. You know you listening right now. <laughs> we love you, bro. Thank you. Thank you for listening. Yeah, thanks. Thanks for all and the support. Comment man. and let us know how your shirt fits. <laughs> uh, before we get out of here, uh, just want to say a couple of things uh, that I want to mention. Uh, the the well, uh, it turns out the Mister Fantastic uh, cameo. There was they actually had somebody else in mind before John Krasinski, which is kind of wild to think about. This is the writer said, <laughs> and this would have been so bad. The writer said that their first choice was Daniel Craig. <laughs> oh yeah, I heard about that. I was like that's so weird and random. But like John Krasinski makes sense, but like Daniel Craig, who was asking for that? I don't remember anybody asking. They would have. That, that would have. You know, that would have changed <laughs> very quickly because he's short. Uh yeah. I mean, well, you know, who's short in movies? You can put people not on, like Krasin- not Krasinski. That's who. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's true. <laughs> Uh, and, uh, one other thing I want to say, like, we mentioned this say a little it. bit off the pod. I really like the writer for this, uh, this movie. He, like, did a really great job with this movie. Wrote for Loki. Used to write for Rick and Morty. Uh, and he's writing a new Star Wars movie. Uh, so this dude's definitely very talented. This script, I mean, this movie just kind of, like, moved really fast-paced. Like, it was really, really short compared to a lot of other Marvel movies. Only two hours long. Uh, yeah, I just hope that this writer sticks around in the Marvel world for a while. He maybe writes another Avengers movie whenever that's going to be coming out. 
Let's just not get our hopes up, man. Let's just hope the movie's the next one is just good. Let's just that's all I, mean, I that's, do. That's what I'm hoping for. That's yeah. what I'm trying to I'm get this guy. The next guy, <laughs> I'm just hoping the next one is already being made right now is good. Right. Yeah. Next up is Thor Ragnarok. Ooh, uh, they just wrapped on. Oh no! That. Wait, no. Thick, sorry, Thor: Love and Thunder. I'm living in the past. They just <laughs> wrapped on that Thor: Love and Thunders, and I'm ready to watch it when it come out. <laughs> Um, oh, and one more thing. Well, don't tell me when it come out because that's we ain't promoting shit. Now. <laughs> they ain't paying us for that. No. What, 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 what? Uh, I just thought that this was kind of funny. Uh, mm-hmm. In the last scene, where like you know, uh, Scarlet Witch is, sees her kids, mm-hmm. uh, and they like, oh, you're a monster. They start throwing shit at her. Mm-hmm. Uh, she's like, no, no, I'm your, I'm your mom. Uh, apparently, uh, she actually, she, one of the kids when they were throwing stuff at her, some of the things hit her in the face and like really hard, and she act like she, she's like, she said like, I use that like as by reaction and then the kids got like actually scared <laughs> and that's like the that's the take that they use in the movie and she's like i felt so terrible all day after that because i just made these kids cry <laughs> um but yeah i just thought that, that was kind of funny she actually got hit in the face <laughs> by one like, of those i ones. used that no she meant i was about to whoop them kids ass <laughs> listen to me you little shit <laughs> and then uh they got scared but that's the take they use and i was really i felt bad because I cussed those kids out and I tried to kill one of them. <laughs> uh, that's why have... they won't be on the set no more. <laughs> but they're that we're not here to discuss the restraining order. But we, uh... yeah, we're not here to do all that. But they gonna you know we ain't gonna never see them again. <laughs> I'm just telling you. But yeah, Doctor Strange, good movie. What did you guys think? We thought it was movie. <laughs> we thought it was movie. What did y'all think? Good, good movie. Did you like this one more than No Way Home? Did you like this one more than Everything Everywhere All at Once? What is your favorite multiverse Ooh, movie? We got to do a podcast on that. We hadn't even did one on that. Uh, no, we didn't. Uh, oh, my God. We're doing one. Well, not <laughs> I, mean, I think it comes soon. out this. I think it comes out this week on streaming, so that'd be good. Give us some time to rewatch it a few times and stuff. Man, already on streaming? I know. I will think you can buy it Tuesday. I don't think it's free. It's going to be free. Oh, I will be buying it. And I will be watching it on this big-ass TV. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, guys, uh, thanks for listening to the Drunk Banthas podcast. We do this every once in a while, so go ahead and leave a like, subscribe, so you can get updates on new episodes of the pod and new video essays. Check us out on Twitter, IG, TikTok, likewise, all of the internet things. Till next time, stay safe, my little Doctor Stranges. No, no, I can do better. Stay safe, my little redheaded Christines. No, 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 wait, I can do better. Stay safe, my little dead Mister Fantastics, and may the force be with you. Do the alarms.